Oh my god. Good morning, my name is Steve Rennie and I am the Wren Baron and this is my Wren Baron Learning to Fly YouTube channel. Long before I became a pilot, I was a golfer. In fact, I started playing golf about 50 years ago and I only recently started flying about three and a half years ago. And in that short time I've been flying, I find that golf and flying share a lot of common ground. It seems that no matter how long you've played the game or how long you've flown an airplane, it seems like you're always learning. You never become the golfer or pilot you think you can be. In golf, every round of golf is different. The same, I find, is true in flying. Changes in the weather, in the condition of the course, uh, your physical condition, your game plan, your attitude, all have an impact on how you play or fly. Whether you're playing golf or whether you're flying, you can do it solo. All you need in golf is a golf course, your golf clubs and some golf balls. For a pilot, all you need is an airplane, some fuel, and some place to take off and land. But in golf and in flying, I find that it's much more fun when you can do it with friends. Today, I'm gonna to be joined on the flight by one of my great golfing buddies, Big Dave, who's not only a good friend, but also a great golfer who's interested in flying as well. And we're gonna be playing one of the most legendary golf courses in the world, the beautiful Cypress Point Club in Carmel, California. Now, if you've never been to the Monterey Peninsula, I can tell you it is one of the most spectacularly beautiful places on the planet. From the time you pull into the gates of the 17-mile drive, you can just feel the magic of the Monterey Peninsula in Carmel. And if you're a golfer, I can tell you it's even more special. The Monterey Peninsula is home to some of the greatest golf courses in the world, including Pebble Beach, Spyglass, and of course, the beautiful Cypress Point Club, home to one of the most spectacular, famous par three holes in golf off the 16th hole. Now I know I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I do know this. I love playing golf and I love flying. And when I can put them together, that's a perfect day for me. So come along and enjoy me and Big Dave on our little Cypress Point adventure. 0768 Fox Trust, Sierra, Salomon on guitar, right turn to shoreline approved, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Runway 21, clear for takeoff, 8 Fox Trust here. Dave, just like golf, middle of the fairway, good. Oh, all right. Ready? All right. Full power is in. Five. Flaps are up at 90. Have a little shake on the. Uh, you're at about 100 knots. That's the uh, brake or the wheels ro rotating. Feel that little shimmy and shake. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're looking for 760 feet here. Six hundred feet for 760. Six hundred. There's our caps available. Our flight level change 120. Okay, we're going to make our right turn to the shoreline. Get our checklist up here. Oxygen is not required. Power lever is full forward. Mixture is full forward. Laps are up. Airspeed is 120. Fuel pump is in boost. Fuel flow is good. Engine parameters are good. Okay, next checklist is going to be our cruise checklist. We want 4,500 feet here. Pull that power back just to here. Here's 8 Fox Shots here. Our frequency change approved. Frequency change approved. 8 Fox Shots here. Thanks for your help. See you later. Is that Riviera, right? That's Riv, yeah. SoCal Approach, Sierra 768, Foxtrot, Sierra, uh, 2,400 climbing, 4,500 VFR request. Where's your call sign, sir? Sierra 768, Foxtrot, Sierra. Plug 0215. 0215, Foxtrot, Sierra. Okay, so he's giving me a transponder code, that's Quack. 
So they, they'll see this on their uh, screens in their 0215, okay, so a switch our 20 departure, American 2891, 1300, climbing 5000, RNF Delray. Right. Climbing the Sid, American 2891. Got a Fillmore. Apox, Rossier, Ritter, contact, 5 miles west, Santa Monica Airport, up to number 3012. 3012 for LAX, thank you. Now let's go actually direct, enter, enter, nav, and then autopilot. Uh, shove us to the right just a little bit, pick up that pink line there. We're going to track that pink line. Okay, so now we're in uh, what's called Bravo airspace. These American 2891, so we, have, we have to stay 5,000 feet, so we're going to go 1, 3, 5, to 5, 5, 5, 5, American 2891. DFAR 4500, uh, 3 West Town, Monica, go ahead. 6-3 Whiskey, we're a BE-35 slant golf. We are 4,500, 3.1 miles west Santa Monica Airport. Request flight following Santa Barbara. So Cal Scout 53, 69, uh, 1,600 climbing uh, the summer, stopping at 5,000. Skywest 5369, radar contact, climb via the SID. I'm via Sid, Skyros 5369. Okay, so it's picking up that pink line, and we'll start going left here in a second. Okay, so we'll go to our cruise checklist for right now, pull back power, 30.5. Amazing how much this fire has already repaired itself, you know. Who's out to do the established? Fuel pump mixture is good. Fuel flow is good. Where were some of the burn areas? Right over here. All that stuff up there. Hey, Fox on Sierra, what's your destination? Uh, we're heading to uh, Monterey, Kilo, uh, Mike, uh, Romeo, Yankee. Hey, Fox on Sierra, Roger. And I'm going to be uh, heading up to 10,005 once I clear uh, Bravo. Eight Fox Shots here. 6,500 is approved for now. 6,500 for now. Eight Fox Shots here. Got a 187 heavy. 2,500. So I put in 6,500 here. Got a 187 heavy. Contact climb via the zip. Pitch the nose up a little bit with this. Okay. So 120 knots, which is our cruise climb speed. I'm going to give it full mixture and full power so we can get there. And the plane will start climbing. It's what a little beast this thing is. Even uh, going up to 1,350, we're just going to track that line all the way up to uh, Pebble. All these little things you see around here are our traffic in the neighborhood. We got 110 below us, 12700 below us, and 5500 above us. Sink that heading up. to go to direct fellows here, shave off a little bit. Okay, that little beep tells us that we're 200 feet uh, from our cruise altitude. Okay, so we'll let it speed up again. We'll go back to our cruise checklist. We're gonna go menu, reset checklist. Ready to go, oxygen is not required. Hey, Fox Shots here, 8500 approved. 8,500 approved, 8 Fox Shots here. Okay, so he's gonna get us up to 8,500. So I'm just gonna hit flight level change again. It's gonna dip us up here again. So I still got it at full power. Let's get it back right here. Up we go again. Hey, we should get there at 9.40 a.m. So we should be at Cyprus by you know, 10 15 from LA. It's getting 1600 feet a minute. It's a great climb. So now I know about six foot five is about the limit on this plane. Uh, 
Yeah. You know, how's your head? Your head's almost at the top too. Six six. So that's even better. Six six. Six five and three quarters. Okay, six six. I you know, okay, so I was off an inch. I just <laughs> eight box drops here. Exit my airspace to the northwest. Radar service is terminated. Squawk twelve hundred for further flight. Follow and contact LA Center. One three five point five. One three five eight five eight five shots here. Thirty five five. Thirty five five eight five shots here. American fifteen eighteen. L.A. Center, Sierra 768, Fox Route Sierra at 8,500 VFR request. Sierra's calling with a VFR request. Stand by one moment. That was 5369, contact L.A. Center, 126.52. 26529. That's a check. Mixture is adjusted, engine parameters. Okay, direct to Gallup, Golf Alpha Lima, Alpha, or uh, India Lima Echo, and then direct Billo Bravo, India Lima, Lima Oscar. Rest of route unchanged. Gallop, Gallop, and then Giddle, and then uh, Pillow, Bravo, India, Lima, Lima, Oscar. That's one of the things that's correct. Contact the other center, 126.52. If the engine went out, I'm actually calculating wind speed. Delta, contact the other center, 119.04. 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 Delta, contact the so you see this side of the glide circle is bigger than the other. 5237, 7000, the number two. Going with the wind there, so. Southwest 5237, Los right Angeles now, Center. It's to either Oxnard Airport or Camarillo. Just got to get me a little bit higher here. No traffic uh, ahead of us, it looks like. And one one thousand climbing one two thousand fire. Hawaiian sixty nine, Los Angeles Center, climbing maintain flight level two three, three zero, and I have a three sixes for you. Advise uh, when you're ready. I maintain two three zero, and go ahead for one six nine. Rest of the route. Do a little key up here when you're flying. Okay, now clear direct nice Gallup, direct 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 so we're going to put that and it puts it up here. And then we're going to go 52, now. Uh, heading 265. So now my frequencies are all set for the next group of radio stuff. LA Center, Sierra 768, Fox Rod Sierra at 8,500. And Cirrus calling with the uh, VFR request. Say again your position and altitude. I'm at 8,500. I'm uh, uh, just uh, north of Oxnard. I'd like to pick up an IFR flight plan to uh, Monterey if I could. And I need to climb a little bit here as well. All right. Cirrus calling over uh, Oxnard. Say your call sign. Cirrus 768 Foxtrot Sierra. Cirrus 768 Foxtrot Sierra, Los Angeles under the Oxnard altimeter 3011. Squawk 7211. 3011 uh, and 7211 on the squad. Southwest 5237, clear direct scatter. 7211. Scatter Southwest 52 and he's going to give us a flight plan, IFR flight plan, to, uh, to Monterey, which means that we'll be in constant contact. I don't have to keep flipping back and forth on these squad codes. And, uh, but we're trying to figure out whether we can get over this hill here. There's a cool little feature here with this thing. Zero 768 Foxtrot Sierra, radar contact, five miles northwest of Fillmore. Uh, altitude indicates 8,500. Say your specific type of Cirrus and your destination. Uh, it's an SR-22 Slant Golf. My destination is Monterey, Kilo, Mike, Romeo, Yankee. I'd like to go at 10,000 if possible. Roger, number eight box trot zero. Eight box trot zero. Are you uh, directed this time? Uh, I'm direct uh, uh, box Lima whiskey at the moment. If I can go direct wiggle, that would be perfect. Number uh, eight box trot zero. I have your request. You're entering an area of higher terrain. Verify you have the terrain in sight. I got the terrain in sight. That's why I'd like to climb a bit. Roger, sir. Uh, BFR altitude through your discretion. Okay, I'm going to climb to uh, 10,005 while I'm waiting for our IFR clearance. Full power. Y69, contact LA Center, 126.52. That thing going up here. 2652, good day on Y69. Thanks to your full. So, Cal, 7963, Mark Bravo with you, 6500 for 7500. Okay, full power. 
Center, Delta Toronto 17, 11.1, climbing flight level 23 on the departure. Delta 2117, Los Angeles Center, turn right. I'm saying this thing has a little detour as well. Vertical direct, situation uh, as well. So that's what that terrain in front of us looks like. 8,000, so once we get up to 10,000, right, heading 265, and we're repeat out there. Delta 2117, flight level 230. Remember, eight Foxtrot Sierra, contact LA Center, 119.05, advise them you have terrain in sight and uh, of your request as well. 119.05, I'll advise on terrain, eight Foxtrot Sierra. Up 2117, turn right heading 275. Heading 275, up to 2117. 010. 310, JetBlue, 1002. 07. LA Center, Sierra 768, Foxtrot, Sierra 9,900, climbing 10,500 and uh, waiting for an IFR plan. 768, Foxtrot, Sierra LA Center, I have your request, maintain VFR, big still out, 3020. 3020 for Bakersfield, 8, Foxtrot, Sierra. Compass 6037, contact SoCal approach 124.5. 1245, Compass 6037, uh, good day. See, this is where we enter our Approach into uh, Southwest 6178, uh, 34, descending with the OC. I'm sorry, Southwest 6178, LA Center, Los Angeles, South Center, 3010. Once we level off, you'll see this fuel over destination will start going up. Veto heat required. Skywest 5646, contact SoCal approach 12, correction, LA Center 135.5, good day. 135.5, Skywest 5646, have a good day. Is it now? He's going to come back to us with a what's called an IFR flight plan. That means he'll be tracking us the whole way. Uh, when you do VFR, um, means it's visual flight rules. Means the pilots kind of just the rule is don't hit somebody. But um, now that we're out of the LAX airspace, it's a little less crowded. But the uh, IFR plans are the ones that same that all the airliners fly. It's a very specific route, very specific altitudes. You know you. It's like playing a golf course. You're going to play number one, then you can play number two, number three, and you don't get to go one, then seven, and, you know. I'll play, you know, number two today is a 200-yard par four, you know. Okay, so we're going to pull back our power here. Go to our checklist. Okay, and then we're going to pull back our mixture a little bit here. This controls the amount of fuel that's going into the mix there. Hence the mixture, because the higher you go, the less air there is. You need less fuel in the mix. Power lever is good. Fuel pump is on. Mixture is on. LA Center, good morning, Cafe 884, uh, uh, currently 350. Clear descent via the RMET 2 Bravo. And then I start monitoring all my engine parameters. So we got 16.30 is our temperature there. We got 366. Oil pressure is 47. We're on our right tank, left tank. We got 41. This is time is 8:40. Okay. I'm gonna give it just a little bit less. I go to the next checklist, which is gonna be our next checklist is gonna be our descent checklist. Back to the map. We got 24 gallons at the uh, destination. And we are busting along right now at 176 knots, which is about 205-ish ground speed. Los Angeles Center, good morning, at 269, Pablo 310, good ride, and we've been giving clearance to the Cynthia of the So we're flying. A little snow underneath these mountains. Look, on these mountains down here, a little tiny bit of snow. There's Bakersfield. That's right. That's Bakersfield is that way. So I'll show you where Bakers. Let's go to the map here. We want to go down to VFR. Bakersfield is going to be right there off to our right. Over 768 Foxtrot Sierra clearance. That's ready to copy. Uh, ready to copy. 768 Foxtrot Sierra, you're clear to the Monterey Airport via direct wiggle, direct Monterey. Finally maintain 1 2000. The fast rubble cell altimeter is 3020. Okay, we're cleared uh, direct to Monterey, uh, direct wiggle, then direct Monterey, climb maintain 1-2000-3020 at uh, Bakersfield, eight five shots here. Uh, can we stay here at 10,000 or do you, do you need me at 12,000? 
Hey, Fox Shot, Sierra, just send him maintain 10,000. Send maintain 10,000, thank you. You don't have to mess with uh, oxygen. Okay, we're going to descend to 10,500 there. Bakersfield, man, has turned into a sprawling little metropolis. Considered a podunk town in California. Not anymore. It'd be one, it'd be one of the biggest towns in most states. <laughs> I'm far traffic. 54 LA Center, Los Angeles, South Center, 30110. Thank you, 10, 000. 000. 40, Depending on your direction, 50, so we're going west. Last guess, 5, 5, right. 4, contact, so you're going west, it's even to 14,000. We're flying VFR. Visual and so when you're flying VFR, they have them at 500 increments, so 10,500, you know, 11, you know, 5,500. So that's how they keep everybody stacked. When the guy said 12, the only is I would have just gone to 12, but I, I know from our little map here, you go back to that little map thing here, inset VSD. I can scroll all the way out to Monterey, and we're well over everything. So 12,000 means we got to put oxygen on. I have to put oxygen on, which I just didn't want to f with it right now. I got oxygen here, but we don't need to be, we're not going over any mountain. We're going over hills. Chose to go a route that wasn't a direct line. Are well, you allowed leeway on which, how you want to go up there? Well, so what I chose to do is we did a VFR LA flight Delta plan. LA 6631 with you. Uh, no, no, flight plan is the starting point. When you're uh, taking off from Santa Monica or Hawthorne, Torrance Airport, in the near proximity of LAX, they carve out all this space around LAX. So they're putting you in between yeah, arrivals and departures. Contact, SoCal approach, one, two, eight, at, point, uh, seven, LAX. So typically what happens is you're waiting 5, 10, 15 minutes sometimes to get a clearance to take off, right? 59, 20. Because they, they know what planes are up here and they want to get you under them and all that stuff. So. The way to get around that a little bit is to um, take off VFR, which we did. We fly our own route, and then what I did was I picked up our IFR Alaska plan up here 472, in contact SoCal uh, approach, one, so that two, we, you know, I like actually having Alaska 472, we'll see you later. constant contact with these guys. So we got out further. Normally we would be on an IFR route. If you were just starting IFR, they're very specific IFR routes that they get. They're called Airways, Victor Airways. And so we're not on a Victor Airway right now. We're on a direct to wiggle. Actually, I should just go direct wiggle in it. So I'm going to go now here, bang. And I'm going to go direct, enter, enter. And it's going to flip me slightly, ever so slightly, just more or less the same direction. So that wiggle intersection there is where we start our IFR flight plan into Monterey. And then it gives a certain specific altitude, be at this altitude, and then I can use the automation to uh, just have the plane start descending automatically. So it takes a lot of the, one, uh, lot of the workload off the pilot. Con this makes it nice and easy. If you weren't on autopilot, how much more would you be doing? Well, I'd have to, you know, it's like, where's the steering wheel? Right here. Ah. This is the steering, right? And I'm in GPS mode, which is a nav, and just without getting all highly technical, there's two ways to steer the plane. They call it lateral navigation. Heading mode, when you hit heading, it takes the heading that, there's your heading that you're, you've assigned, right? 308, and that's what we're actually flying, and it might be different because of the wind blowing you, right? So you're always adjusting. Autopilot automatically adjusts for the wind. Um, when you're in GPS mode, you, you enter a specific course, which we've done here, and then it just tracks that course, the pink line we call it. In heading mode, you're turning the plane by heading. You're just turning this knob here, right, left makes you going left, right means you're going. Now, if I turn it right now, see, here's the selected heading. I can turn it to 300. It's not going to do anything, but if I hit that heading button, it would switch into heading mode and start tracking to that 310. If I just hit, hit push it in, it syncs it up. So if I wasn't on autopilot, everything else is the same, right? I'd still, it would still have these pink boxes here. As long as that green circle's in the middle of the pink boxes, we are on that pink line. And we're in, when we're descending to a certain altitude, it also keeps you right in the pink box, keeps you on just the, the glide slope you need. So, um, but you'd have to, you know, constantly be adjusting. When you're not in autopilot for today's stuff, Keep the green circle in the pink box. 
That's called Pathways. And it keeps you right Cafe on track. Eight, eight, Same idea, right? Keep it down the middle. <laughs> Same in golf, right? That would be keep your green circle in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> but they didn't have all this stuff, you know, till 15, 20 years ago. Cirrus sells a lot of planes to major airlines as trainers because the, the function of the autopilot system and the, what they call it, the flight management system here, pretty much the same in jets. There's just more of it, a little bit more levels of complexity. But when those guys take off, they're setting a heading. They've the got a number course six, loaded two, in three, here, two Delta, right? Down and two, five, once they get to about six, seven hundred feet, they hit the autopilot button Delta. and the thing just tracks it. And with the big planes, you can control the throttle as well. So now with the big jets, it used to be the only the big jets, and the most modern ones could fly all the way to the ground auto autopilot. Now, General yeah, Aviation, contact, general so aviation approach, planes one, two, can do four, the same thing because the new you know, General five, Aviation five, planes, one, two, four, five, the little yeah, smaller five, jets nine. and the bigger single engines have auto throttle. So if I dialed in 200 uh, okay, knots, it would level go to 200 zero, knots. Because when those big boys are coming into LX, they, have, they can only be going Boston, 250 at a certain 42, point. LA, 210. Center, Burbank, Instead of having just you know the altitude and the heading, they've got speed. And it'll throttle back the plane for the speed there. It's pretty amazing. This little vision jet that Cirrus makes uh, can actually auto land now. That scenario we would have gone through, I'd kick out, you'd have pushed a button that says auto land. And it would totally take over the plane. It would put the flaps down, put the landing gear down. It would hit the bricks on the runway and open the door when it stops. So if I went sideways right now, what would you do? Don't do it, just tell me. Blue. Yep. Red. 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 Boom. And then flip this all the way off and then good. And then you would push that button and go mayday, mayday, mayday. Right here. Yeah. And if they ask you what's your what's your call sign, tell them uh, seven six eight Foxtrot Sierra. If they said well, where are you, you have a little map here, and this kind of scrolls it in and scrolls out. But this is what's called the score scoreboard right here. You could tell them we're direct wiggle, 113 miles from wiggle, and plus they have us on this squad code right here. So they would know they, they would send somebody to come out and get you. It would come, so they know where you're coming down. There's also another button down here in big emergency. You got, you know, if we were got an engine out or something, I would push that ELT, which is the emergency locator transmitter, on my flight bag back here. I have this uh, PLB here. This orange and black thing is a personal locator beacon. So if we're on the ground, we can pop that and send off an emergency. You know, here we are. Come get it. The, the, the upgrades now. of all the right. the avionics now is such that those things are now. That's what's great about this little Cirrus. This is like the freaking Mercedes-Benz Tesla with wings of the general aviation world of, of single engine piston, not turbo props. Because it has all those same features that the big guys have, right? Hypoxia alert. If I started tipping over, you hit the blue level button, it levels you off. Um, sometimes people get spatially disoriented, all of a sudden you get just hit the level button and you're level. It gives you a chance to pull it together. And if you were on with Mayday, Mayday, and they said, okay, Dave, okay, are you guys on autopilot? They go, I don't know. I go, okay, I want you to look down to your left because they know what kind of plane it is. They know it's an SR22 turbo. It, they got the tail number on it so they could check the tail number and go, okay, it's a G6. We know exactly what he has in there. They get some serious points and say, okay, Dave, that thing to the left of your leg, okay? Is there, you see a button that says auto, but yes, I see auto, but great. That's w lit white, correct, okay. Here's what we want you to do, Dave. We're gonna we're gonna get you over to a nice flat spot so you can pull this parachute, because you got a parachute, that, you know you know how to do that? They, okay, great. So here's what we're gonna do, Dave. I want you to look on there and tell me what your heading is. They'd actually kind of know, because they could see us tracking this. They say, okay, we want you to push the heading button in just to make sure it's synced up and you put and okay there it is and it's now synced up okay great so Dave here's what we want you to do and just do it it's not going to change it because we're running that but I want you to turn that thing Dave so that the heading says 330 south of 3523 LA center and then the they say okay so say 336 you go yeah they say, okay yeah, now we want you to push that heading button is it lit? Yeah. Is the plane turning? Yes. Okay. Good job, Dave. Okay. Now, over on your PFD at the top, there's a little button, the screen that says that's going to give you your altitude. What does your altitude say? 10,000, right? Okay, Dave, we want to get you. Now, watch what happens here. If we're going to try to get us over to here, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to move that over. Now, watch what happens. 
it tells me how high the elevation is right on that spot. 2,000, we're at 10,000, so we got to drop 8,000. So what they'd say is, okay, Dave, here's what we want you to do. LA Center, we want you two, to two, zero, zero, dial direct in 4,000 on the altitude Spend select. Two LA Center, right? the you would take the altitude back. select and you dial in 4,000. Okay, great. Uh, now we want you to push this VS. You see a VS button? They go, yeah. I want you to push the VS button. Great. And now I want you to, that little knob to that, I want you to gently push it down, right? And then it'll say minus, you'll see it up, it'll say minus 500. And then you would start descending, right? And they say, great job. Okay, and if you're going to, now Dave, you know, you know where the throttle is. I want you to pull it back just gently, okay, so you're not over speeding going down there. So they would get you over to somewhere, right? Because of the autopilot. That's what I go through with my wife. I'm not trying to teach you how to fly. I'm teaching you how to deal with emergencies. And the whole time, you're going to push to talk. That's what PTT means, push to talk. As soon as you're done talking, let go of it. There's a new feature in this latest version of the software where if we've been on 270 and the plane's going to keep making turns, LA Center, the LA the heading would have still been on the last 305. Let's say the next leg was 330. The plane would turn to 330, and we'd still have heading of 330, right? And so what they did was they made it, and so if they said to go heading, you'd always have to remember to hit heading mode. You'd have to sync your heading first before you push heading because otherwise the plane will immediately start turning to the old heading. So now they have it so that it just syncs up. Every time the plane turns on the flight plan, it adjusts, it brings the heading with you. So all you have to do is hit heading. At some point up here, he'll say, uh, Hey, Foxtrot here. I need you to go uh, 20 degrees left for traffic. LA Center, Bonanza, 1-9-4-9-0-Sierra, checking in. LA Center, Bonanza, 1-9-4-9-0-Sierra, checking in. Bonanza, 1-9-4-9-0-Sierra, Bonanza, 1-9-4-9-0-Sierra, checking in. 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 Bon
3020 for uh, Paso Robles, 85 Trout Sierra. And what she said, she acknowledges me right, and then she gives me a, a, an altimeter setting. The, the barometric pressure is different in every location out here, so what they want to do is make sure that all the pilots are on the same barometric pressure because it affects your altitude, right? And so if you had the wrong barometric pressure in here, the indicated altitude could be off by three, 400 feet, right? Which would be a problem if you were landing and you thought you were X level and you were actually 400 feet lower than you, all of a sudden you're coming out of the clouds and you think you got real bang, you smack into shit. So that's why they're always giving you um, the altimeter. And so whenever you do a radio call, you tell them who whatever it is. And this is up here, it's just brilliant. Oakland Center tells you who you're talking to. Give them your call sign. You tell them where you're at, they come back and acknowledge and give you a new altimeter, and now you're good. And that's the radio calls. So anyway, this is an interesting approach that we've never done. So if we're actually landing on runway 10, which would be the best runway to land on, because you always want to be landing into the wind, if possible. They can't have many runways on that little airport, do they? They got, they got one big one, and... and if you wonder why the give runways have a certain number to them, 28 means it's 280. It's pointing to 280 degrees, right? The 180 reverse of that is runway 10, okay, because that's now pointing 100 degrees. So they have two runways at uh, Monterey. They got 28 left or 10 right, which is the other end of that runway. That one's 7,175 feet. It's 150 feet wide. That's like big big long fairway we like big long fairways right <laughs> the other runway which is parallel is 3,503 feet and that's not an issue but Santa Monica is 3,500 feet but you know in general I love big and wide where possible um, but you try to land into the wind and we're going to pick up here shortly when we get the weather it'll tell us what the active runway is and now I'm briefing it because I pulled up that what's called the approach plate because I've never flown into this this um, approach. I've always landed going this way. So this time we may be landing going the other way. And Where's that's the ocean. This is the ocean out here. So this one will put us out here, probably take us to Linus, then in here, and then they'll swing us back around. And that's when you love having a Cirrus when you have the automation to really help you with all this. Number 22 Delta, contact North Delta, 24.52 today. In the cloud, 24.52 today. Oh, that video you sent me. Yeah. <laughs> Which one did I send you? You, you? you wanted me to see you and a friend were landing, maybe in Oh, in Watsonville. It was okay. Watsonville. Okay. Yeah, we were, do you see that? We were coming through the cloud yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was cool because I'd done it before and I was comfortable with the plane and everything. But I'm telling you, man, you, you, I'm not looking out the window. I'm just looking right here. And all I'm looking at is keeping that pink, that green thing in the pink circle or in the pink boxes. And you're checking your 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 altitudes and so forth. So we've got 67 miles to wiggle. Oakland Center, good morning. Station 5 past your bubble jet, level 2 zero, zero. Oakland Center, good morning. Since I've five never five zero, seen that. Citation 550, Bravo Juliet, Oakland Center, good morning, lower shortly. Absolute Boeing bought this company. I met the two guys that started the company who are driving a really nice plane now. Um, so these are the instrument approaches into, this is the best win now. We're probably going to get 10 right. Okay, so what they're going to do is we get to Wiggle, and he's probably going to send us to Salinas. And then they're going to send us over here, and then they'll turn, it, we'll, we'll turn around five, and come zero, back to the request. Passarola, as we just passed by. And this little thing right here is, yeah, this is a flying area, military operation area, so when it's hot, you have to go around it. So we're going to skirt right next to it. So <laughs> got to call them up and see, is it, is it hot, you know? And if it's hot, um, they'll steer you clear of it. We've got a little runway down here or something. What is that? So i got nearest airport. That must be C. I don't know what that is. 
not listed. Or it's to Robertson Air to be I don't know that must be a private airport there. <laughs> That's what those, yeah, the ones that are down there that low is probably a crop duster. When you're flying over Bakersfield area, you'll see that all the time. You'll be at 10,000 and you'll see something that, um, we'll call it, like, believe it was sea level there at 9,800 feet. You go, what the minus 9,800? What are they skimming the trees and it's crop dusters? We can go and get information on this traffic here too. So there's one up here at 8300. So let's we're going to go flight ID, right? It'll tell us what it is. Then I can click in here, and that one is going 322 knots, going in that direction. And sending the little arrow tells me he's going down, and uh, that is a probably a commuter jet. How do I know? Because it's going 322 knots over the ground. And uh, moving. Versus what? What are we doing? We're doing over the ground. We're doing 172 knots ground speed, so you can add to that. So 17 is 89. And uh, so we're going about 200 miles an hour right now. You know, miles per hour. Right. So I can pull this out here and see who's who, and then I go to the next one over here. And that guy's doing 154 knots. Anyway. A lot of great features here for uh, situational awareness is how they like to uh, refer to that in the uh, trade. Amazing how you know, they're not far away, but you can't see them. No. You, like, it gives you a better feel. Well, you can like see them when they get close, but this well, gives mean, you great situational awareness. You well, kind that's of, what I mean. Yeah. What I'm, so, I'm, talking, I'm thinking about like Top Gun. Oh, yeah. It's like, where is he? Where is he? Yeah. When you're watching it, you're thinking, well, why can't he see him? From zero eight zero, you're stuck at twelve thousand miles. Very, very, and those guys are shooting at each other from fifteen miles away. Your base box says zero. Contact North Hill Road one three three point zero. Good day. One three three point zero eight five trot Sierra. Yeah. yeah. No Cal approach Sierra seven six eight Fox trot Sierra level ten thousand. Looking for lower. Sierra 768, Fox Sierra, North Calif Road, Salinas, El Pedro, 3020, descend and maintain 7,000. Descend, maintain 7,000, 85 trots here. Okay, so now I'm getting lower here because I know we're going to get jammed here in a second. As we're closing in, I'm going to pull a little bit of power back to 70% here. All right, uh, cleared visual, 2-8 left, maintain uh, present speed or greater, solution 5 5 0 2 8 left, okay. So, so we're going to... 7 one, one your traffic to follow is 12 to 1 o'clock and 1 okay, zero so miles like in the air at 3,000. Wingspan 2, reduce speed to 2 zero, zero. That's Monterey up around the corner here. So, sir, two seven one one six miles from Charlie. Turn right, direct Charlie. Maintain six thousand until it's out. All the local lines are straight in. Local lines are straight left approach. Yeah, a little. They call it the blue banana there. That tells us where we're going to actually reach that 7,000 altitude, because I wanted to be Fox 7, Tango Mike, we're going to maintain 5, somewhere in the 7,000 zone at Wiggles, so we're going to be fine here. So the other, Papa, maintain the other thing I've learned about 5, flying, you gotta, once you figure out that these controllers are there here to help you, I don't wait November, as much for them to tell 8, 8, me everything. 7. I'm like getting ahead of it, saying I'd like to get lower, and because I'm looking here, I'm going, there's nobody f***ing out here. You know? So... She gave it to us, so, and then we got somebody's on that wiggle. Coast Guard 271, 170 should work. Coast Guard 
Station 5 Bravo Jet. Station 5 Bravo Jet. Station 5 Bravo Jet. Station 5 Bravo Jet. See, North California is all the area from San Francisco down back to here a little bit. So they, their that little beep tells me we're 200 feet above. Number 121 Lima, North Carolina Approach, Salinas Health Center, 202. Selected altitude here. Now the nose will pick you, feel the nose pitching up a little bit. Wind Transfer, Visual Approach, Runway 28 left, maintain the speed. Speed, since the nose is pitching up, we'll start to drift down a little bit. Clear for the visual, slow on it down. Consciously coming in a little bit slower. Because to give it, give it back to 65% here. Warrior 4455, X-ray North Carolina Approach, Salinas Health Center, 202. And then we're back to the green line and the circle in the pink box. Okay, so. Wingspan 2, thanks for your help. Contact Monterey Tower. Over to Tower, Wingspan 2. Hawker 7, Tango 5. Temperature 15, 2.3, L7A3 is number 18. Visual approach to the east, sunny and runway 2, left, to your right. Full control for all IFR craft, two stations. Two Los Angeles and San Diego. Contact. Delta. Uh, descent maintained 6,000. We're looking for the RNAV uh, 28 left Yankee. Yes, 8 Roger. Ed Wiggle, join the final approach course, report established. Uh, Ed Wiggle, join the final approach course and report established. 8 Roger, descending to 6,000. Okay, so we're going to join the approach at Wiggle. Hawker 7 Tango Mike, reduce speed to 180 or less. One of them is, let's go back and get the plate here. Minimum is 1080. Load that we want Wiggle is our transition. Okay, good. See so now, see it started to give us some um, altitudes that to hit, right? So we want to get rid of that right there, clear it, okay, get clear of that one. Okay, so now we're going wiggle, we want to be at 6,700 to wiggle, she just gave us 6,000, so we're fine. And once we get in there, if I put my hand up, just we'll hold that thought. Because now we're kind of getting into the what they call the, the terminal area here. Parker 7 Tango Mike, what's your slowest tactical speed? You get a Parker good chance to see how all this automation works. The speed traffic you're following is 11 o'clock Amazing. and 5 miles at Coast Guard 227 okay, so at 5,000. We've the on the now. straight and localizer. Now we're going to put in the tower frequency there. Parker 7 Tango Mike, Roger, let me know if you get out the window. Load in our ground frequency ahead of time while we got some time. This is what I've learned. Don't be a. Pilot, November 1727, Tango, contact Oakland Center, 128.7. <laughs> okay, so let me go to that plate here. Coast Guard 271, thanks for your help, contact Monterey Tower. Chart, 28 left. Okay, so Igeo's our final approach picks. I want to be at 4100 feet at Igeo. November 7, Tango Mike, negative, he's at your 10 to 11 o'clock and 6 miles at a 4,400. Okay, so now it's picked up 6,000 here. So now the next 5,100 feet, which is right here, that's the altitude the plane's looking to go down to. So now we're going to go and set the... 4100 Igeo. Remember, Tango Mike, he's already on tower. He is indicating 170 Um, I think it's more like a little. Remember, Tango Mike, Roger, and I do need four miles in between you or visual separation provided by you. The tower can't do that for me. Affirmative. Build elevation is 257. Our missed approach here is going to be. This approach is climbing right turn 6,000. That's if we had to go missed, we, you know, something wasn't right, we had to go around. We were climbing right turn, then direct 
seen this, seen Lena's. Pretty simple. Number seven, Tango Mike. He is now indicating 150 knots. He's at the 12 o'clock and there. four and a half miles. Let me know if you have him in sight. Otherwise, I'm going to have to break you off. Here we got 7175. Tango Mike, maintain visual here. separation from that traffic. Caution, wake turbulence. Hey, we want to go in here and see what we want. Once we land, we want to get off on taxiway. Taxiway Lima. Officer Sunny Tango Mike, thanks for your help. Contact Monterey Tower. Lima, the Alpha, Del Monte. Here's 85.0, defend and maintain 5,000. Set maintain 5,000, 85 trot zero, thank you. Now we'll go 5,000. Push that vertical speed. Now watch when I roll this button up here. I'm going to go down to 500 feet a minute. Get rid of the charts. XR, we want it to be at 5,000 feet, so we're going to be good for that. She's putting us already there. And we want to be 4,100 at IKO. Pardon me talking to myself, Dave. This is just me going through my. Okay, now our checklist, we're going down here now. Oxygen is good. What we say the altimeter was for uh... Check 4 Papa, Alpha, restrictions are canceled and radar services are terminated. Squad 12, Sunday, 10, should advise your frequency approved today. Okay, so go back to our checklist here. Altimeter is set. Cabin heat frost is required. Landing light is on. Fuel system is on. Full as tank. It is. Check our brake pressure. Got brakes. Seat belt is four, five, Fuel six. pump is on. Maintain no further west than your current heading for traffic inbound to Monterey. Get that out of the way. Flaps is required. We're good right now. So we're coming to Whipco Hicksar okay. here. Here is a clock shot. Do you have verify you are established on the inbound course? Uh, verified is, uh, we're just going to be turning into the course in a minute here. Here is a clock shot. Sierra Roger, four miles from Hicksar, maintain 5,000 until established on the final approach course. Cleared straight in, our Navy Yankee, straight left approach. Uh, just maintain 5,000 until Hicksar, then straight in for the 2 8 left. A clock shot here. This, this particular approach, yeah. So we are clear, she said. So actually now we're going to go. Just to find 3456, resume on navigation. Just no 121 Lima, Lima, contact Monterey Tower. She's going to get us around this corner and then it's going to turn us around. Let's go select an approach. We want 28 left now. Visual for 28 left. Straight. Flaps in there. Here's here, contact Monterey Tower. Contact Monterey Tower, Apoc here. Monterey Tower is 0768 Foxtrot Sierra, inbound for a visual for 28 left. 0768 Foxtrot Monterey Tower, Roger, on which way left, continue. 
and Tango Mike going to Monterey Jet Center. Good time, Tango Mike, turn left at Echo, just on the Echo, the frequency, no delay, please. Okay, no delay, off Echo, and stay with you, Tango Mike. That's the airport right ahead. Good time, Tango. Mike. Tango Mike going to Monterey. Three, three, seven, wind, comma, way two, eight left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, two, eight left, jet speed, three, seven. Yeah, we're going direct to this little final point right here. We're going to make a little right-hand turn into the airport there. Okay, mixture flaps boost, we're good. So is the wind what you thought it was? Or uh, it's just, it's so going to be light. a little bit from behind us, but at six knots, it's not going to be a huge issue. Monterey Tower, Citation 8866, the mic is ready for two. Archer 2 8 left. Traffic here. Station 86 Duck Line, Monitor Tower, Roger. 768 Fox Sierra, make at least uh, four miles straight in, please, for the ground traffic on the north side. And traffic will be holding a position of the citation. Uh, I'm four miles out right now, 8 Fox Rod Sierra. Oh, so you are seven miles out right now. Oh. I need to go four miles straight in, please, for runway 2 8 left. Okay, I'll be uh, four miles straight in, 8 Fox Rod Sierra. Station okay, 6 Echo Mike, runway 28 left, line up and wait traffic on a 6 mile point of the series. 886 Echo Mike, Roger, line up and wait 28 left. This 8 Fox Shots here, traffic holding in position, we'll be a citation. Uh, I'll be looking for the traffic, 8 Fox Shots here. Okay. 337, looking at right turn for the Monterey 5, contact North Carolina departure, good day. Jet speed 37, so on. Vertical track. Number one two one Lima Lima traffic on a five mile final for the tire runway is thirty dollar feet for the traffic in sight. Okay, we're looking for the traffic for one two one Lima Lima. Station six Echo Mike on departure of five runway heading maintain seven thousand runway two eight left clear for takeoff wind calm. Runway heading up to seven thousand clear for takeoff eight eight six Echo Mike. Get off on Lima, Alpha, and then Del Monte. Flexion 1361, Monterey, Tower, runway 28 left, line up and wait traffic on a four mile final, is a series. Line up and wait 28 left, Flexion 1361. It's 8 5 traffic holding in position is the golf stream. Uh, I, got to, I see the traffic holding, 8 5 shots here. Number 1 to 1, Lima, Lima, wind calm, runway 28 right, clear to land. Clear to land on the right, 28 right for 1 to 1, Lima, Lima. Okay, we're going to put in our last bit of the flaps here. Runway heading, contact with departure, good day. Runway heading, going to departure, good day, Tech Mike. Jet 1361, wind calm, runway 28 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 28 left, Fox 1361. There's 8 Fox Rush here, traffic departing, party arrival is a Gulf Stream, caution lake turbulence. Wind calm, runway 28 left, clear to land. 28 left, clear to land, I'll be looking for the traffic. I see somebody else coming on a short final there. That's for the uh, pallet runaway. He should be touching down before you get there. Got it. Okay, thank you. That's the guy for the short runway. Okay, let's get some power in here. Put your nose down. Altitude. I want to thank you for joining Dave and me on the flight today. If you like what you see, I hope you'll click the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel to see more videos, click the subscribe button. If you want to be notified when new videos are posted, ring the bell. My name is Steve Rennie. I am the Ren Baron. Great flying with you today. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Go ahead and come frequency. Okay, left the kilo. I'll hold short of the uh, left for left line. Line. Good. Flexion 1361, contact with your departure. Have a good day. Have a good day, Flexion 1361. There's 8 Fox Cash and uh, Lima Lima. You can turn right on Bravo, taxi westbound on Bravo, and uh, I'll cross you downfield. 
Okay, right on Bravo for one to one Lima Lima. Del Monte Lodge, 8 Fox, right here. Say, Fox, right Roger, turn left at Kilo or Juliet, and Alpha Del Monte, this frequency. We go left on Kilo and then uh, Del Monte on this frequency, 8 Fox, right here. Nice landing. I'm going to make it nice and smooth for you, big deal. Like <laughs> Number 120, the baby Monday, in the bed. Cross on way 28, left at Echo. How'd I do, Dave? <laughs> Pretty darn good. Pretty clutch with new passengers in the plane. I saved my worst moments for myself here. <laughs> 